Welcome to Excel TV's all new video series called Friday Fire. Friday Fire is all about helping you end the week on a very high note. Indeed, we're gonna have tips, tricks, templates, even some Excel humor. And today I have an awesome data visualization template you can use right away. So let's take a look right after this. This episode of Friday Fire is brought to you by Data O's, the breakfast of analysts. Their numbers you can crunch. Wow, Data O's, that is just, I don't even know who writes this stuff. Okay, so let's go take a look at our map that we have here. This is a map of the United States. Definitely something you've probably seen before. One of the things that you might see and probably notice right away that is characteristically different is that this map, every state has an equal size. So why would we want to do that? Well, the reason we would want to do that is because when we show a United States map and we show things like Texas and California on it, these are big states, and big states have the uh, ability to provide more visual weight to something that really it might not have uh, due cause to receive. In other words, at least in this analysis, and there may be other analyses where you want to show a big map, but in this case, we're trying to compare the states as a performance, and in this case, all the states should really be the same size and we would do that visually because we want to convey that there really isn't something bigger or better about another state that has a larger size or perhaps worse as the case may be when a state has a smaller size so let me show you what we have in Excel and I built this and you're able to download this in the description so first and foremost how did I build this well these are just regular cells if I go to view and I hit grid lines you can see that these are just grid lines that I size and yes I did go through the painstaking process of sizing each one. So before we get into the mechanics of it, let's just talk about how it works. We have our map here. This map is showing data based off of conditional format that has been applied to the cells under it. So we have some sort of conditional format here and it's been applied below and we put data in and we get some result. And so you can use this in any way you want in your own work. What you can do is you can go to data over here. You have all the states listed. You have their abbreviations in case you need them. And then over here, we have the raw value. So in my imagination, you would put your raw value in here because remember, what is rule one of raw data? Never mess with the raw data. And then we have what I would call the final value. So the final value is actually just a formatted version of this data that's in this value here. So real quick, when I created a format for this, I'm gonna go to home real quick. I'm gonna show you, I went to custom and I put a uh, custom format on it from here. Now, why did I do that versus let's say using a function like equals text? And for those of you who know, with text you can put in a value, you can bring in a custom code. The reason I don't do that is because this will convert it to text and all this data informs that front end and conditional formats don't wanna read text. They wanna read values. So when you do this, Right now we have it set up to billions of dollars. You can do a custom format and set it up to whatever you want and I definitely encourage you to do that. And absolutely, if you create something cool and you wanna show it to us, yeah, drop us a line. All right, so let's go back to the map. So as I said, there's just a conditional format on top of everything. I'm gonna show you that here. I'm gonna highlight this whole thing. We'll go to conditional format, go to manage rules. You can see it picked up here. I know what I highlighted was bigger, but I can't always remember where I placed them. So if you go to edit rule, you see I just put in a low, a lowest value, percentile, highest value. You can do any sort of scale you want on this. And I encourage you definitely to do that and to change the scheme to reflect your data and perhaps your company brand. So that's how that works on top. Now, every one of these cells, and I did this in a painstaking process, is connected to the back end abbreviation. So to make my life easier, I actually went through and I just, I named every cell. So that's state NY. And this was also just because I had grander plans for this. And then it also equals a value that is indicated by NY, by that named range. And you can actually go and see the named ranges if you go to the formula tab name manager, here they all are for you to look at if you'd like. Pretty simple stuff. Now, one of the other things I wanna show you here is something interesting about conditional formats. And that is with a conditional format, you usually only get to show a number or you don't get to show a number, you can show a custom format. It's hard to show both. Now, there is a way to do it, but I didn't really like that way. Now, one thing you might notice here in my map is how I place the numbers and the data. So take a look at this. Each one of these states actually has a little square over it that I created. And here's what you can do with it. So watch what happens. I'm going to move this, and that moves the number. This number is actually hooked to the VT, which is equal here. So you can see it equals VT. And if I type in VT here, we can find out where that is. So you can see that it was actually down here, and that's why I made these. The reason I did that is because with conditional formatting, it is hard to show both text and data at the same time. Now it's not impossible, and one of my colleagues, Layla Garani, 
actually showed me how to do this. So I told her it was impossible to show both the text and the number and have it go to a new line. She said, no, in fact, that is possible. And I said, look, if you can get it, I will buy you a beer. And it looks like I'm going to buy her a beer. Here's how you would do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then, then I'm going to explain why I like my way better. So we're in this custom format. So I've selected the cell no matter what data is behind it. It's always going to show VT. How do we know that? Well, if I go to custom formats, I'm going to click this right here. I have set this data to always show VT. Now, let's say I wanted the data to go to a new line. I'm going to just show you how to do that. I'm going to hit space right here in this custom format. And then I'm going to do this trick that I just learned, and it is control J. Now, you see it doesn't really do anything, but that actually inserted a new line here. And then I hit control V. I just pasted a format on here already. Now, you can see that format, and I'm going to show you if we can find it. You can see it right here. So this is how we can format $33 billion to look like this. So it doesn't stretch out across the whole way. So I hit Control-J on that. I hit Space, Control-J. Then I pasted that format in. I'm going to hit OK here. You can see that actually, let's just make this a little bit bigger, that it actually goes to a new line. So that would be the way to do it. But I don't really like that. And the reason I don't like that is that you can't format that NH, right? I want the states to pop out. So I'm going to do it my harder way. I'm going to Control-Z all the way through this just to show you. And you can see I pasted that custom format right there for my use. I'll hit delete on that. So I'm going to hit Control-Z. We're now back at it. So basically, each square is made up of one text box, which actually connects to the data point. And it also is made up of a value. So right now, this is a custom format. If I brought it back to just a regular format, I'm going to hit General here. You can see it brings back the original number. Now, why did I do that? Well, the reason is if you have a conditional format, you actually need to feed it in a number. So what we were doing is we were feeding it in a number, and then we were masking it with a state code. So that's how that worked. So this was pretty easy to create. You can see these are just cells. And then I put a conditional format. And then I put a little text box on top so that I could actually have access to the data. And the reason I didn't use custom formats is because I like, well, I like how this looks. Now, you can really put anything in here, and you can put on any conditional code. You're welcome to use this and download it in the video description.